an ambulance. Oh, get him off me! You get away from her! Oh, he's trying to help! Right, listen, darling, it's all gonna be okay, right? We're gonna get to the hospital, okay? Rob, go and get the car. What? Get the car, Rob! Uh, no, we've got plans. The keys. <laughs> the keys. Come on, quick, Rob! All right, all right! Great, I'll go on my own. Tracy! Oh, 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 oh. Right, listen, darling, I'm gonna ring ahead, okay, to any let them know that we're on our way, okay? I'm trying to take maternity. Wait, wait, wait. Carla, I know you hate me, but this is our baby, so if there's a problem, I, I need to be there. She said she doesn't want you there, now do one! Is there anything we can do? <laughs> oh, we'll stand in here, go. I, I, I don't think we should go anywhere until the car leaves. <laughs> Worried you might miss something. <laughs> Steady, 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 steady. Can you at least let me know what's going on? Can you do that? I won't have time for the hospital. Oh, All right. Please, can someone let Liz know where I've gone? I was meant to be going to Amy's show. Don't you worry, I'll tell her. And, and good luck. Be a very neighbourly today. She is Now. Sorry you've been hanging about. On your own? Yes. Usually hang out in pairs. <sighs> My colleague's been called away. Should we make a start? I'm not being funny. This can take long. It is a murder investigation, Mr. MacDonald. I, I, know, I know. I'm sorry. Do you need to be somewhere? A talent contest. Uh, My ten-year-old daughter, not me. Uh, Bessie Street Junior's got talent. Uh, she's been doing a Gangnam Style dance routine. Mm. Sorry, I'm yapping, Anna. This always happens when I talk to a copper, mm. a policeman, a woman. Um, my girlfriend will be there, so she'll cheer her on. I'd like to ask you a few more questions about Peter Barlow and his relationship with Tina McIntyre. I know you think I'm covering for him, but I'm not. You haven't told us everything, though, have you? Well, it seems a bit silly now, in the light of everything. Oh, go on. You know, I was told you that you told me about him and Tina. Well, I didn't tell my girlfriend. She still doesn't know. He obviously trusted you to confide in you the way he did. Um, uh, we're, we're good mates, yeah. Did he confide in you that he was planning on leaving his wife? Mr. MacDonald, surely he must have told you he was planning to set up home with Miss McIntyre. Well, yeah, but, I mean, he changed his mind every other day. I mean, the last time we spoke about it, he said he was going to dump Tina. Did he now? When was this? Uh, the day it all kicked off. Really? Look, he loves his wife. I mean, she's having his baby. He told you he was going to end it with Miss McIntyre? Yeah. But wasn't that a bit risky? I mean, what if Miss McIntyre didn't want to be dumped? How could he be sure she wouldn't tell his wife about the affair? Well, he said he had to get to her. He said he was sure he could close her down. Right, and how was he intending to do that? Look, I don't mean permanently. He wanted to bin her off, not bump her off. Well, if she loses the baby, it's going to destroy her. Well, you better pray that she doesn't. Carla's in agony. I'm not allowed anywhere near. What did you expect? This baby's the only good thing we've got left. I mean, even if we can never get back together, I mean, we could still be good parents, can't we? You think you've got a chance? God, you have been drinking. I was so happy, you know, when she told me. Even though you were seeing somebody else? I just... It, that made me realise what I had to lose. I'll make us a coffee, shall I? I'd rather have something stronger. A strong coffee? I'd rather have a glass of wine. I haven't got any in the house. Or the sideboard. In fact, the whole house is a booze-free zone, and it's going to stay that way. <sighs> Just going to check your temperature and blood pressure, if that's OK. Yeah. How strong would you say the pain is on a scale of uh, 1 to 10? 7 or 8. I don't know. I was in here about two weeks ago, but the pain was nothing like this. It's 9, oh, God, make that 10 out of 10. I just need to examine you, if that's OK. Yeah. I'll just go and get you a gown. OK. Oh. I had a 
everything, Deirdre. I had everything and I blew it. You did. Now she won't even talk to me. I'm the one should be driving her to hospital. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Probably wrap the car around a tree. What have I done? I've wrecked everything. Why did I ever go near Tina? Because you're vain and arrogant. You thought you could have your cake and eat it as well. But this time it's not just heartache you've caused. I know. How can you be so selfish? After everything that's happened and, and there you are, wallowing. Pull yourself together. You're right. You're right. Where are you going? I have to see her. She won't want you there. I don't care. This is my chance to stand by her. I'm going to do the right thing for once. Well, then you need to sober up. I mean it. I'll make you some more coffee. So I saw opposite that new jewellers near the town hall. Who? Oh. Tim. Yeah. I thought he was cleaning the windows. Turns out he was just looking in one. And then he went in and he was in there for ages. And when he came out, he was carrying a little bag. It's a bit early for my mum's birthday. Is it? Yeah, you sure it was him? I do I'm not blind. Well, what was you doing there? I've been to the pet shop three doors down. Anyway, I said hello when I saw him. And he just shoved the bag behind his back like he didn't want me to see it. Oh, he'll just be a present for my mum. No, after he'd gone, I was looking in the window that he was looking in, and it was pretty much just rings. Rings? Rings. Oh, so wise, but my mum a ring. Think about it. Come on. The kind of ring. Can you get a you'll do for now ring? What? I think Tim's really into mum, and I wouldn't be surprised if they get hitched. <laughs> no, definitely not. But we agreed that Michelle and Steve were going to give me a lift. Our daughter is in a talent contest. You know where Michelle is, because Rob's gone with her. Where's Steve? I mean, is he still at the cop shop? He's not answering his phone. Maybe he's stuck in a tunnel. Oh, you mean the Weatherfield tunnel, the one that links us with France? Look, I'm sure by the time you get to the school, he'll be there waiting for you. Do you know what? I'd come with you myself if I wasn't so short-staffed. I love seeing her dance. You're a liar. She's a great dancer. Liz, I love Amy to bits, but she can't dance. And as for dancing and singing at the same time. Would it seem like prying if I phoned the hospital? I'm sure Norris would do it like a shot, anything for a morsel of gossip. Remind me. Why are you here? I'm having a quiet drink with Rita. He's been a comfort to me. Yeah, but the pretext that brought you here in the first place must be wearing very thin by now. As long as Rita wants me here. Uh-huh. Softly, softly, catchy monkey. It'll be firmly, firmly prodding monkey in a minute. One reason I hesitated coming back to Rita again was because I knew I'd have to endure you acting like you were the keeper of the castle. Will you stop it, the pair of you? I'm glad Dennis is here. Oh, well, maybe I'm the one that should go then. Good idea. I don't want either of you to go. I hope she's going to be all right. Our fingers crossed the both well. How far gone did you say she is? Four months. I don't want to sound like I don't care about the baby, because I do, but... I can't help thinking that Peter got pregnant just to keep her occupied so she wouldn't notice what he was up to. I don't know. I don't know. And one thing I do know is that she really wants this baby, even after everything that's happened. She's normally sharp as a tack. All her faculties went out the window since she she got together with him. I tried to warn her. Well, you can't tell people who to fall in love with, can you? You can protect your family, though. I didn't. I just... I just let her get on with it. Peter Barlow was always bad news. I've let her down. Hey, come on. Don't be so stupid. 
You're a brilliant brother. She thinks the world of you. You couldn't stop her falling for Peter. Nobody could. Sorry. I couldn't stay away. Is there any news? Yeah, she doesn't want to see you ever again, so just, just get lost. She's still my wife, Rob, and I'm not gonna go anywhere. I mean it. I want to see Carla. I want to know how she is, okay? And I want to know it now. There's nothing we can do now. I'm sorry. And what have you got there? Oh, just a few things that you wouldn't buy yourself. Washing up liquid and bleach. They were on special offer. Oh, thank you. And I've made a massive salad if you'd like to come and join us for your tea. I, I've made me tomato thing. Yeah, we'll come. Oh, OK, as long as we're not gooseberries. Well, why would you be? No reason. What's going on? Nothing. Stop it, my dear. Sophie, stop what? My dear thinks that Tim is going to pop the question. <laughs> <laughs> what? Sorry I'm coming out of a jeweler's. Don't be daft. The only question that Tim will ever pop is, shall we have another pint? See, that's what I said. She's <laughs> mad, isn't she? Tim would never propose, trust me. If you say so. What was it you saw, exactly? I've got just as much right to be here as she She doesn't have. want you here. Stop it. Right, stop it, the pair of you. Carla's going through hell in there, and you two are squabbling like a couple of kids. All right, all right, I'm gonna go. Peter, if there's any news, I will text you. Okay? Just give us some space, please. Can you come through? Julie, I love. Hey, have you been at the police station all this time? Oh, don't you start. You're worse than they are. No, they kept me waiting. You mean lie? Yes, I flaming did. I said I didn't know where you were, but I don't understand why you don't just tell Michelle the truth. Oh, I don't know. I don't know why I'm so scared of getting a rollicking after everything that... Michelle at the talent contest? Oh, no. She's at the hospital. Why should the... Carla collapsed in the street, so Michelle had to go with her. We're still waiting to hear any news. Anyway, Tracy had to go see Amy on her own. Oh, is she all right? But oh. Abel actually don't answer that. Pulled a face like she always did, but she went. <sighs> Amy's going to be really upset. I was kind of a mentor, showing her all my best moves. So, why did the police want to see you again? I think I'm covering for Peter. Oh, so I think he did it. Well, I'm starting to wonder myself. I mean, he's pretty high on the list of suspects anyway. I think I've made matters worse. All the more reason why you should tell her yourself. I know, I know, I know. Well, when she gets back. Are you on your own? Yeah, I've left Tim at home slicing boiled egg. Oh, I get salad mad this time of year. It's good he's domesticated. Yeah, well, maybe he's a bit too domesticated. Is that possible? <sighs> We're going on a mini break away this weekend. And you're complaining? <sighs> oh, Julie, I've got this awful feeling that he's going to propose to me. How <sighs> romantic. Well, you don't want him to. I don't want to get married. I've been married, I've been there, I've done that. I've burnt the T-shirt and the rest of the clothes. I mean, I like him. I like him a lot. Oh, but... you're going to break his heart. Can you not warm to the idea? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I've never even had it on my mind. I mean, maybe Maddie's got it wrong. Maddie? I'm confused. Well, she said she saw him coming out of a jeweler's shop with a bag and she thinks he's brought a ring. Oh, no. But honestly, I would have thought that would be the last thing on his mind. Stay overnight so you can get some rest. I haven't got anything in toothpaste. Well, it's okay. I can, I can go back and get for you. 
I think they're just drawers in the bedroom, third drawer down, a couple of pair of pyjamas. Can somebody please tell Peter if he's here? I'll see you. Yeah, well, thanks for the lift, Steve. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry, how did it go? Oh. Here she is. Oh, what a swizz. <laughs> you didn't come. Um, yeah, sorry, baby. Um, something came up, I couldn't get out of it. Well, you didn't miss anything. Oh. oh, did it not go well? No, it was a flaming travesty. Didn't you hear my jaw hitting the ground about half an hour ago? Oh, you know, I was that angry, they had to escort me off the premises. Why? Well, Amy was the best act by far. I mean, she was in a different league. Totally nailed it, didn't you, babe? Oh, you little star! Oh, <laughs> good for you! Did she win? She came sixth. Sixth? A out of how many? Out of seven. Well, at least she made it to the final! I had about ten mums come up to me and tell me how good she was. Well, can we complain? I mean, who were the judges? Oh, well, it was the head, the chair of governors and a vicar. Call me, uh, you're my little winner. Mm. Never used to eat salad. They say it's not food, it's what food eats. Oh, Tim, you were dragged up. Five a day. Mine's five bites a day. <laughs> Sent Ben's foster mum an email today asking if I could go to Devon and visit. Oh, cool. Not a reply, though. Do you think she's avoiding me? No. Well, then why haven't I had a reply? Give her a chance. No, I think she's giving me the swerve. I got a phone call from the hotel that we're staying at today. They asked if we wanted a meal when we got there. I said, yeah. Oh, we don't have to go if you don't want to. No, I'm dead excited. Oh. Never been to a flower show before. <laughs> Flowers and bushes, yay! Oh, thank you, Tim. I really appreciate it. I mean, it's a shame you're going to be missing your stag do, though. That's nah, it's no biggie. It's not like it's me own, is it? What kind of brother am I? I could have both stopped all this, but I didn't. I'll let you down again. Not the first crazy alcoholic to make you suffer. I didn't protect you then, and I haven't now. I just stood by and watched. I'm so sorry, Carla. I'm going to put things right. I will never let him hurt you again. I mean it. He's not going to get away with this. I will make him pay. Love. Flipping judges could scar her for life. Well, if she wants to make it in showbiz, she'll have to take the knocks. Well, I'm gonna have a word with the head when I go in. Like that. Can we do anything? I know, I know. 
keep her in, so um, I'm going to go back in a bit. I'm just going to nip to the flat and get some stuff. On top of everything, to lose a baby. Do you want to come with you? No, I'll be fine. Oh, um, that was Amy's show. Uh, I didn't make it. I had a brewery meeting, and then there was Traff. Tracy took it. Oh, poor kid. Right, um, I'm gonna go. See you later. I can't tell her tonight, don't know. You shouldn't be here. So another death on your conscience. She should have avoided stress at all time. Fat chance when she's got a lying, cheating, murdering husband. You belong in jail, Peter. That's where you're heading. I'm gonna make sure it happens. Coronation Street continues tomorrow night at the earlier time of 7.30. The Miscarriage Association is available for information and support on 01924 200 799 or you can visit miscarriageassociation.org.uk. Regular call charges apply from UK landlines. Mobile providers may charge more. (laughs) 